Hi, it's Helena at Lighthouse Tai Chi with number 10 in our well-being videos. And if you are enjoying these videos or you've come across them for the first time, do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can find out when we've uploaded more content for you to enjoy. Generally, it's a Sunday night, we'll upload something and uh, you'll be able to find out about that when it happens. So today's exercise is called five gratitudes exercise for mental well-being. This is something that I do as a daily practice, but it is something you can do as a one-off when you need to. So first of all, what do I mean by gratitude? Gratitude is a sense of thankfulness and of appreciation of things, events, uh, experiences that you have in your life and when I do this every day I do it at the end of the day and it sets me in a positive mindset for the next day you can do it first thing in the morning if you want to or you can just do it when you feel you need to just flip that mindset if you're having a tough day when we express thankfulness and gratitude we create an energy a positive energy and that energy is good for your body and your mind and your well-being but it also creates an energy around you and it will draw more positivity towards you. So if you believe in things like the law of attraction, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. On a subtle level, we just send out a different energy and it comes back towards us. Now, like I said, this for me is a daily practice and I think it's a very helpful one. But some days are easier than others. Some days I've had a wonderful experience of something or something particular has happened. On other days, I might be struggling a bit. So I have five gratitudes that are my go-to and I'm gonna share those with you in a little while. Those are things that I have written down that I can just look at every day to pull my mind and my mindset back to where I want it to be. There are three keys to making this exercise work. The first key is to speak the gratitude aloud. I am grateful for, or I am grateful that, or if you don't like the word grateful, use I appreciate, I am thankful. Yeah, it's interchangeable. The second thing is write it down. So that way your brain has had two opportunities to think about what you're grateful for. So by speaking it aloud, you, you've heard it as well and you've verbalised it. By writing it down, your eyes can see it and your brain takes it in on another level. Also by writing it down, it's like a contract, it's set. I mean, that's an important part of the mindset. The third thing I want you to do is to really think about it. Spend a minute, a few minutes, longer if you want to, and really think about what you've just written down and what you've said. And all the shades of that, all the knock-on effects of that, if you like, or just really focus just on those words. That creates another kind of energy. It brings you into the now. It focuses right in. It stops you drifting into the past and it stops you wandering off to the future. That's what we mean by being in the now. And that's a discipline for the mind. That's part of meditation as well. So just focusing in. Speak it aloud. Write it down. And really think about it. Now, if you are somebody who struggles with writing things down, you could say them into a voice recorder or into your phone. We'll have a voice recorder. And then if you're having a tough day, you can just listen back to those things, particularly with the five go-to. But let's start with today. Today, I have gone for a walk in the park. Just simple thing. What am I grateful for? First of all, I'm really grateful that there's a park that I can go and walk in, yeah? I'm really grateful that that is there with all the nature and the flowers and the birds and the trees. I'm so grateful for that park. Secondly, I'm grateful that it wasn't raining so I could go there and I could walk comfortably. Third, I'm grateful for the person that I was with, whether that was my partner or family member, a friend, or just with myself. And that's another little clue there. You're not by yourself, you're with yourself. So be grateful that you have that time to be with yourself or with the other person. Grateful that they're part of your life, that they have that time to be with you. 
I'm also grateful that I have the time off to do that. Yeah, if we're working all the time, whether we're working at home or going out to work, having that time and that time off to do that. I'm grateful that I have the opportunity, if you like, as well as the time. I'm grateful that I do have a source of income that allows me a chance to go for a walk in the park, allows me to live somewhere where there is a park nearby. And then fifth, I'm grateful that I had the mobility, that I have feet that could take me to that part, that I could walk around and I had the energy to do that. So you could make it something like that. Equally, like I say, some days are just not great. And having a little go-to of five things, five basic things can be really helpful on those harder days. Mine are. I'm grateful for my eyes. Yes, I have to wear glasses, but I can see. I can see my loved ones. I can see colour. I can see nature. I'm so lucky I have my eyes and I'm so grateful for them. Two, I'm grateful for my ears. I can hear people's voices. I can hear my own voice. I can hear my own thoughts. I can hear nature. I can hear things. I can hear life going on outside. I can listen to music. I'm so grateful for my ears. Three, I'm grateful for my breathing. Let's just breathe in and out. In and out. I'm really grateful that I can do that and that that's easy for me to do that. Number four, I'm grateful that I have my mobility, that I can move around, I can move my head, I can roll my shoulders, I can bring my arms up and down. I am so grateful I can do that, that I have my mobility. That equally means I can go out if I want to, I can walk away from things if I want to, I can walk towards things if I want to, because I have my mobility. Number five, I'm really grateful for the food I've eaten today whatever that was, that I could nourish my body, I could give my body the energy it needed. And if it was something particularly nice and tasty, I can really focus on that one thing that I ate and really enjoyed that. And I'm grateful that that was there for me. So those are my five go-to. You can use those to get started. But the best thing to do is at the end or the start of every day to just write down, speak aloud, and contemplate five, just five things you are grateful. Some days you might find 50, go for it. If you wanna keep it as a journal that you look at and you can go back to, it can really help change your mindset. And it's very important just for your internal well-being and your ability to cope with things, it should improve. But equally, like I say, I very much believe that if we put out a positive light, a positive energy, it creates a feel good around us. And I, I, I'm sure you come across people that you just, you could sit in a room with, you don't need to speak to because their energy is just so lovely. And you can be one of those people as well by expressing your five gratitudes every day. I hope you found this helpful. Do look out for more content. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content. Stay well and we'll see you soon. Bye.